That's so right. Today we got an Academy Award winning iconic filmmaker and legendary New Yorker. What's his name? Spike Lee, you cowards. That's right. Give it up for the ultimate Knicks fan. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Oh, hell, greatness. Sorry. My guy. Sorry. Spike Lee in the building, y'all. Yes, sir. Spike, let's get down to the brass tacks right away. How are you feeling about the 2019 NBA draft? I really want it. Zion. Yeah, I know. And uh, no disrespect uh, to his, his uh, teammate, mm -hmm. Duke Barrett, and uh, people forget that Michael Jordan was number three pick. That's mm -hmm. right. So you have hope. So we have hope. Uh, I have confidence in, the, in the, the New York Knickerbockers front office. And uh, we got to get back to uh, our winning ways. When, 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 <laughs> chop it up, bro. When, chop it up. When do we up, have winning up. ways, though? Chop it up. I'm ready. Well, I'm ready for the next coke. Yeah, what's up? Give me that next coke. Give me some hopes, right? Give me that next coke. I need it. It's right. We listen. I need it. When people think of Nick fans, they think of us. They're like, why are you guys still? Or why are you guys still Nick fans? Why are you still a Nick fan? Because I grew up with uh, Wolf Frazier, Dave DeBusha, Bill Bradley, Coach Red Holzman, mm -hmm. Willis Reed, mm -hmm. Cassie Russell. Talk to him. I mean, that was a game seven. May 8th, 1970, the Willis Reed game. I was there. Mm -hmm. The and, first championship. By the way, the other day was the 25th anniversary of when Scottie Pippen dunked on Pat Ewan and tried to get in your face. And you was like, I think. So you no, said something no, to the no, effect no, of, no, like, yo, no. get the fuck out of here. I'll no. fuck you up, Scotty. No, no. You get, you get me, like that. You're getting mixed up with somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't, remember, I don't remember that happening. No, what it was is that after, it was a great dunk, but then he stepped over mm -hmm. Patrick. You know, I was telling the ref that should be a, 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 a fake. And yeah, they called it. Yeah. yeah, so they called it. Okay. That's right. You know what I'm saying? But I got about uh, a lot of I'm getting a lot of people telling me about that 20th anniversary. So, yeah. Uh, but look, that me and Sky have always been cool. Mm -hmm. So the only thing that got accelerated was the, you know, thing with, with Reggie. But for yeah. me, it's always it's always. You know, here's the thing though, people, and again, me and Reggie are cool. But it wasn't this. He had he had, it was this, and one hand was on his nuts. Ooh. And my, Ooh, and, that's different. And so that's 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 different. That's that's, my, that's like yeah. That's, that's not some thirty for thirty that, shit. That's like that 30, was that I'll was shoot up everybody. Yeah, shit. that's we we scrapped that was that line. was the jump off. <laughs> it, was, it was not just that, but but that's <laughs> history. Me and Reggie are mad cool. So you never roast someone by his belly button tattoo. <laughs> never knew about. You never be like yo, yeah. my man. Never, he got, never. He got a what sunflower around. I never did him. that. Never brought up his sister Cheryl. So I'm, I, I mean, I don't, I don't. I've never gotten personal with. Yo, with like yo, Cheryl used to yell. Yeah, never, you could have. You just never have. <laughs> it's, it's, it's disrespectful. Mm -hmm. You know. I mean, look, you just got it in your back pocket just in case he does another crash grab. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> long, long, long gone. Uh, I just think that, you know, I'm very fortunate because I was when I was going in the garden. I was in the blue seats, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know, so to sit where I sit, you know, I respect the players and you know, I don't want the Knicks to win, but I'm not going to disrespect the Knicks. Are you going to one day buy the Knicks? Please do. You got to have, you got to speak to Brother Man. Yeah, sure. Who just donated, who, you heard about him? No. Robert. Oh, the, oh, the, the Morehouse. The guy yeah, from the Morehouse yeah, yeah. guy. 40 million. Yeah, he paid everybody tuition. But I think he's, like, yeah. trying to help. To, like, it would seem like a big waste of money to buy the Knicks. Like, that's not really helping the black community. First of all, the Knicks aren't for sale. Dolan James, said if you bring the right amount. He is not selling the Knicks, nor the Rangers. Well, as a Knicks fan, I like to believe lies, so I have to go with this. <laughs> you know what, what, what lies you believe in? That he would I have a Kevin Knicks. Durant Knicks jersey already. You got one? I already got one. You wearing it? And I got a Kemble one, and I wear them both at the same time, layered. That, don't be jinxing stuff. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like to talk about nothing before it happens. Listen, I was, I was really, I thought that, you know, the draft, when it got down to the last three, I thought for sure that. Did. Zion was going to. When the Lakers got number four, we were like, yeah. <laughs> And, and then, then our Xanadu turned to our Waterloo. Yeah. But here's the thing, though. What does Anthony Davis want to do? 
That's a, and that's the thing. That's another question I was gonna ask you. You do you keep the pick and pick Barry, or do you try to f- trade the pick and get somebody else? Get you get you an AD. You know what I mean? But do you want AD? Hell yeah! Hell, I'm fucking yeah. something for something. You, you can dribble and dunk on everybody. I'm just saying, like, okay, like, yes, he's a guarant- that he's a guaranteed superstar and everything, but. What's he's a upside? max player. What's his upside? Like, what do, are we going to get as much as we could get from this potential trading this upside? player? How, how young is he? The guy... Doesn't he get hurt pretty often? Man. Yes. He could, he could, he could ball. He could ball if he he's stays healthy. Certified. So, let me ask you a question. If we have two max contracts, mm-hmm. who are you going to get? I'm just saying, like, no, we no, have no, to no, think no. about this. All right. Knicks, I'm, asking, love, I'm asking you a question. We love to we have, we have, we have two max. We have two max. We got two max. Name your two. I want Katie. I want Katie and Kimba. Kemba, what happened to Kyrie? Ky- look, look. Uh, Kyrie. Kyrie. I'm asking a question. I'm g- answering the question, Spike. <laughs> I like Kyrie. Right? I now like you're not Kyrie. Spike Lee, the director. You Spike Lee in the barbershop, my nigga. Look, Ky- look. Right? Look. Kyrie, we fuck with Kyrie. Why you call me N-word, yo? <laughs> <laughs> yo. Why you call me the N-word and that's on television? Passing. I'm passing. I've been this way since I traded Sprewell. Yo. We fuck, that was, we fuck with Kyrie. What about we traded Patrick before that, though? Yeah, why why I, Patrick can't be a coach, Knicks? Hmm? He you saw where uh, my man's going to be the coach of uh, Michigan. Who? Who was on the... Who? Tell me. Oh, Jawan Howard? Yeah. Howard. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he deserve it. Shout out to him. He, I thought he went straight from the league to coaching in college. Because that motherfucker been in the league for like 38 years. I thought he was still playing, to be honest. Facts. I thought he was just going to show up and like... He just come off the bench <laughs> for the Knicks one day like, oh, shit, you... I'm like, oh, shit, we signed him? Oh, shit. But no, so, Kemba Walker and... And Katie. Katie. You think Katie's coming? I, I had strong feelings I, earlier, but now I'm hearing rumors about he's going to the Nets, and I'm like, oh, God. Yeah, that would be disaster. That would hurt. No, he would. That would hurt. He wouldn't do that. That would hurt. Nick fans, would that not hurt? Yeah. Can you he, imagine, he, like, a he, Nets he, fan he, talking he, shit he, to you, he, bro? He, he. That would have been In like, front of the Shake Shack at Barclays? Say, get the fuck yeah. out of here. That would have been like Manny Machado signing with the Mets, B. Like, we would have been sick. sick. Whoever comes to the Knicks and helps us win our first world championship since the 73, Jesus 72, 73 season mm-hmm. is going to be like. There, there's, there's not, there's nothing you can compare it to. There, there's no, there's, there's no, there's no nothing comparable. Like, we about to get a statue of the fuck out of here. <laughs> but who, someone has to want to do that though. You know, where you're going to be the person that took the orange and blue I don't, I don't, I don't the, make it spicy. To the, to the, I'm just to saying, to LeBron the, didn't have the heart to try it, so... Hey, it, it, it worked out for him. Yeah, did it? He's yes. driving around in a Kia. <laughs> yeah, don't... Don't believe all the commercials you see. That motherfucker had a Bentley. He got the Kia to send the kids. Yeah. Got the kids and his wife for the Kia, like, yeah. No, don't believe all the commercials you see. But uh, whoever who wants to come to New York has to understand the history... And your and your place in history will be enshrined forever mm. to lead the Knicks to the promise. That's true. That's true. And switch gears a little so bit. So we got two max players. Who are they? You know. What, what two players would you like to see? I want to see KD. Mm-hmm. And I love Kyrie, but what happened in Boston with the in the playoffs and the players are talking? I, you know, it's kind of. It's a little shaky. It's, 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 it's like, do you want that? I mean, if if in what we read, what we hear, that the players, you know, like, then that's something that has to be. In the, but I have faith in the New York Knicks front office to see, you know. But Kemba's where's Kemba from? He's from the Bronx, right? BX all day. All day. Sound you know out here. BX all day. All right. You already know. Sure. So I, I and always, he always, nice. always loved his game. With you know, that, right? he played for the Gauchos. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? True New York. Uh, you calling on his back you for the final? Uh, so, we also, again, there's no guarantee that we're going to get. We're going to end up with Terry Rozier and one of the Marcus, <laughs> one of the Collins, yeah. fans, or one of the Plumleys. Do not. <laughs> no, the Duke Plumleys? <laughs> <laughs> the Dukies? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> You must have been to Bangkok to smoke something. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the Plumleys. Uh, <laughs> Look, I just, I just, I just set the bar really low so that I'm pleasantly surprised when we get something. Oh, that's yeah, good. for you know, the fourth time, I have faith in, in, in the New York Knicks front office mm-hmm. that that they're gonna do the job that needs to be done that could get us in the playoffs, at least the playoffs. That's, listen, at least that's all. At least have, let us smell the playoffs. And, and and I love Coach too. Yeah. 
Oh, physically. Oh, Coach Riggs. You know, so. Take that for data. And, and I like our young players, so we got to we gotta move on. All right. We're trying to get an EGOT. How do we do it? Give us a hint for the Oscar. Like, what could we do? Like, what? Uh, you got any old screenplays you want to give us or something? Like, how, how we... <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Uh, do the right I'll, thing too. Do I'll, I'll tell do you what. I right tell you what I tell my students at NYU. There no short. There no shortcuts. That's not what we want to hear, Spike. <laughs> <laughs> we want to hear. I'm focused on. You sound on, like right? my students. Hey, that's not it. <laughs> do I hear this? Nah. Tell me the formula. Nah. I, I got. Form, I kind of got the formula. Form, the formula is hard work. No, I no, kind of no, got the formula. No, no half stepping. Rosie Perez. No, no batch sliding. Ice. That was my third film. It worked. We seen her the other day. We're still talking about it. She was like, I don't want to talk about it no more. But, yeah. Who, Rosie? Yeah, Rosie. She's the, she's the um, FYC thing. What? The uh, for panel. your consideration. Oh, right? yeah, yeah. We do, yeah. We do with every panel's on Spike. You know what I'm saying? Nah, nah. You know, props to Rosie. That was her first film. Yeah. Still lives in Fort Greene. You know, Rosie's, you know, we've been great friends. In fact, this June 30th, mm -hmm. I want, I'm going to invite you guys to come. All okay. right. June 30th will be the third anniversary of... Do the right thing. Nice. Just so we invite you to the block party. What? Yeah. Nice. Everybody, the whole gang will be there? Yeah. To turn on everybody? Open. Yeah. And it's open to the public. That's right. Do the right thing with you know Do the Right Thing was shot on one block. Uh -huh. And several years ago, New York City renamed that block Do the Right Thing Way. Okay. It's the first time it's ever been done in the history of the city and for a film. Mm -hmm. And it's in Bedside Do or Die. So come through. Check out my Instagram. June 30th is gonna be. One of the big cultural events in New York City this summer, June 30th. Right. I'm gonna throw a garbage can through that window. <laughs> Boy. What? Sal's burnt down. You late, man. No, I, oh, I didn't say a pizzeria. I'm just gonna throw a garbage can through a window. That shit might be an artisanal coffee shop. I'll be like, ah! Oh, yeah! Fuck hey, Gregory's coffee. It's called Bedside Do or Die. Do so, or Die. So <laughs> don't be throwing no. But not everyone in Bedside at this, it was called Bedside Do or Die at a certain period of time. Now it's called Bedside High. Please, my child has peanut allergies. So. <laughs> Best no. night. I'm sadly true. Me. Okay. I'm leaving so sad, still. Sad, sad, sadly <laughs> true. Oh, man. But also, you know, we were talking about gentrification. I wrote that script in 1988. Mm-hmm. You remember that scene with John Savage mm -hmm. wearing that Larry Late Bird? Bird jersey. Yep. Yeah. That's about gentrification. <laughs> the film came out in 89. He was warning them. 30 years ago. We were talking about... Uh, Polar caps melt, all the global warming, all that stuff. So, yeah, I mean, you look at, very sadly, Ray Raheem and Eric Gardner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Power was right there. I mean, so, man, we, we, I mean, we had the crystal ball, a lot of that st stuff in that what, film. What's it like putting those messages in films and mass parts of the audience just not getting it? Because I think the majority, well, like, well, we I, saw I, it and well, we got it. Well, I think that... Several of my films, you know, people did not get it right away. Uh, one of my most, I think the film that people love more than anything I've done is Crook One. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and when the film came out, and there's a scene where it's like when the scene where, where Troy the boy goes down south mm -hmm. and he shot it with anamorphic lenses, people did not understand that. They were like going up to the projector and banging on a thing, but now uh, people love it. So sometimes, you know, people just got to catch up with stuff. I mean, but I've been saying the phrase wake up yeah. started in the second film. She said, that was 88. Damn. 88. So, you know, we've been doing this for a minute. I'm very broke, so I can't send none of my kids. Well, I'm not broke broke, but I don't got send all four of my kids to NYU money. <laughs> what is something I could tell them? Spike Lee said this. How old are they? Eight, five, three, and two. Cause my oldest son, my oldest son, he's already, he's eight, and he's already like, yo, we, I'm writing scripts, I'm writing screenplays. Encourage him. Yeah. But here's the thing, though, I don't think it's, it's for me, it should not be, if I'm gonna say this, that not because, do this because you you want to do this, you love this, not because you think it's gonna make money for you. Man. I mean, because that's the. For me, that's the, the gravy. I never, I'm doing this because I love doing it. All the other stuff is just, you know, a benefit. But it's, I never decide I want to be money. a filmmaker. Like I want to do because I want to make money. That 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 never, that never ever entered the, the my thought process. So you're saying we shouldn't make Color Purple too with Amy Schumer? 
Well, who? <laughs> first of all, if you make that film, you better speak to Mr. Steven Spielberg ah, first. Not, we'll clear it up afterwards. <laughs> I got Oprah uh, on the phone right now. <laughs> Yo, oh, we back in business. <laughs> well, you have to speak to Mrs. Spielberg first. <laughs> You're like, Jesus, who? I'd be like, Spice said it was a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Spielberg would know that, 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 that you could not pin You're like, who, Spike me. Jones? But it's, 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 <laughs> it's refreshing to hear that after all these years that you're just doing it for the love, man. But the making checks be hitting, though. Here's the thing, though. I've always knew that that I want to, as a famous line from my favorite film, The Godfather, mm -hmm. if I'm an artist and make work, I want to wet my beak and make money from my art. Right. But that was not, I'm not saying, I'm going to be filmmaker so I could be famous or make money. That was never, ever, you that was not. a vision you wanted to share with the world? It happened in Morehouse, yeah. where I, I decided, uh, at, at the summer between my sophomore and junior years, that. I was had that and not chosen a major. Mm -hmm. and my advisor told me, don't come back to school in the fall for your junior year without thinking about the major. And I decided mass communications, took those classes at Clark College, and a great teacher professor, Herb Eichelberg, who's still teaching there, hmm. encouraged me to be a filmmaker. And that's and that's finished Morehouse, came back to school, go to NYU, my class. My classmates, Ernest Dickerson and Ang Lee, all in the same class. And so, you know, getting it done since then. Facts, really. And what about the acting? So, because you've acted in a lot of your films. So it's like, yeah, yeah, but that was just a. Uh, that that was a humble. Or, uh, I cannot. The, the, she's got to have it. The Mars Blackman character, we couldn't afford to pay anybody. So yeah, just, so he was like, I'll do it myself. I'll, I'll do, it. do it. And, and then uh, Bill Davenport. And uh, Jim Riswell, mm -hmm. who worked at Nike, saw the film. And that's ideal. If they called me up, it was their ideal to pair uh, MJ and myself. Mm -hmm. and, you know, and the rest is history. You still cool with MJ? Yeah, mad cool. You texting him like, yo, that earring looks stupid? That what? That earring? We don't have that type of relationship. Oh, I'm just going <laughs> to I got to ask. You guys can make <laughs> jokes on the air. Because <laughs> you don't know the brother. Ah, and, yeah, and, we and, know. But we see if we're going to choke us out. And, and then also, <laughs> MJ was born in Fort Green, too. Mm -hmm. Facts, yeah. That's I mean, listen. I mean, whoa, whoa. Cumberland Hospital. Him, Bernard King, mm -hmm. Albert King, and Mike Tyson. Ooh. All born in Cumberland Hospital, Fort Green. The People's Republic of Brooklyn, New York. That's cool, but I was born in Lincoln Hospital with Hell Route. What's up? Ah, uh ah, -uh, BX. You know what it is. Ah, uh ah. -uh. <laughs> oh, well, the days of Brooklyn and the Bronx beefing are long gone. Oh, yeah, for sure. Long, long, long gone. Because the Bronx won. I love what? The Bronx won. <laughs> What'd you win? We won. <laughs> we won. They, the name won. a rapper. Hell Route. Cardi B. What, Big about, what about Biggie and Jay Z? What two you got? <laughs> All right. No. I, what two do you have, Biggie and Jay Z? You know I what? Mean, I'm what? A, I'm gonna tell you. What? I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. But I'm gonna tell you in, a, in an acronym. I'm gonna tell you the acronym. <laughs> I'm gonna tell yo. Brooklyn in the house. Spike, I'm gonna tell you the acronym. Brooklyn in the house. You got. That's true. You got Big. Well, you got Jay. Right. But knowledge reigns supreme over nearly everybody. Can I just say this though? <laughs> <laughs> because we don't have that much time. <laughs> but I have to give respect to the Boogie Down, the birthplace of hip hop. Mm -hmm. People don't realize this. Slick Rick. It was Puerto Ricans and African Americans <laughs> that created this art form. Yes. Yep. In the Boogie Down Bronx, young brothers and sisters, black and Puerto Rican, but we created this art form. We just changed the world. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we, people forget, like, where shit started. Yeah. Who created this? Where did it start? Mm -hmm. And so, I've never had a problem with the Bronx, ever. Yeah, we never had, like, fam, we were in the Bronx. It's too far to go to Brooklyn, so. Well, that's <laughs> it's too much. Like, 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 I, don't, I got an hour and a half on the train. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Tell the truth, tell the truth. Growing up, you, you in the Bronx? Yeah. Well, if, if, a, if a fine sister, Lived in Brooklyn, what would happen? 
I guess uh, I'm on that train to pink house. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. It's GI. Geographically <laughs> inconvenient. Ah, uh, no, no, no. I There's the time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. I ain't gonna lie to you, brother. I went to. Have you troops? I've been you out have a troop? I troop. I troop. I troop. I took the two train. I thought the two train only ran in the Bronx. <laughs> <laughs> Until I got off at Franklin Ave. All right. Franklin Ave. And I was like, this ain't the Bronx. <laughs> I remember I took the 40 Utica, and Shorty said, get off, take a dollar van, and then take another dollar van. <laughs> I was like, ah. And I was like, I'll see you in 20 minutes. <laughs> so you went anyway? I went. There was mad niggas in front of her building. You know what I mean? I had to play you know off and shit. They, they, they didn't say where you from? Yo, where you I was from? like, I did that. I was like, sir. <laughs> Yo, you here to see Tanisha? Nah, nah. nah. That's my cousin. <laughs> if I went out with her fourth grade, you violated. Like, you know what I'm saying? I still, she still fuck with me, yo. Say it? That's my boo. That's my whiz. Nah, nah, nah. I mean, that was a. Uh... <laughs> That's a moment. <laughs> GI. GI. You never GI to the to the Bronx? Go to Yankee Stadium. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. <laughs> well, I mean, nothing Bronx related. To go to go to Bronx for some for some cheeks. <laughs> I live it? in Brooklyn. <laughs> Why don't I go to Bronx? You didn't want to go like oh, so Act Three or Skate Key or something? What? Skate Key? What's that? Oh, that, what, we rollers? What's Skate Key? It's a roller rink. It was, a, it was, nah, it was I, kind I, of a roller rink, but it was also a gang arena, so it's like, depending <laughs> on what time you went. It was like medieval times for And, and why should I been? I'm, I'm glad I didn't go. Because that shit was popping. We was in there with our fucking, right. uh, what, was the, what was the hats? The, uh, the little the derbies, derbies with the vans. With the coogees? Come on, man. Come on, yeah. nah, that was a moment. That's all right. I'm glad I didn't miss nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Spike, we could sit here and talk to you forever. We know you got places to go. You're a busy man. So at the end of every interview, we ask people uh -huh. what would their neon sign to say. You're a New Yorker, you know what it is. Every bodega has a neon sign, mm -hmm. hot foods, you know, don't let this guy get credit, he's not gonna pay his I'm back. Saying. What would your neon sign say? Do the right thing. Good one. Yeah. Yo, thank you, Yo. Spike. She's about to have it streaming on Netflix right now. Watch that shit. Spike Lee in the building, give it up for the legend, y'all. Yeah. Yo, my <laughs> you guys gotta do a movie. You know? <laughs> what movie should we do? Should we write it? Oh, now we gotta write. <laughs> Let's do Belly 2, more Belly. <laughs> nah, something original. Malcolm X 2. <laughs> something original. Outside Man. <laughs> something original. <laughs>